an asset is considered to be impairment impaired under us gap if it's carrying value greater than present value of future cash flow less than its market value greater than the sum of undiscounted cash flow so in us gap the impairment is done using the impairment calculations is done using two separate steps in step number 1 we compare the carrying value which is the book value versus the total of undiscounted cash flow undiscounted means not considering time value of money undiscounted cash flow so for example if carrying value is 100 all the future cash flow the firm is expected to generate is 120 since in this case undiscounted cash flow is higher we do not impair the asset however if this value this total is 90 then the step number 1 is successful where we decide that asset is to be impaired in step number 2 we calculate the impairment loss by comparing carrying value versus the total of discounted cash flow so let's say present value of all this cash flows comes out to be 80 that gives us a impairment loss of 20 and therefore the asset is impaired if the firm's carrying value is greater than the sum of undiscounted cash flows the answer is option c